Hi guys, welcome back to Andrew's Attic. This is a flip through of Tales from the Midnight Masquerade, colouring book illustrated by Hannah Carlson. So this is Hannah Carlson's newest book. Um, it's been out a while in the Dutch edition. I waited for the English language edition to come out uh, in the UK. Um, I nearly went and ordered the Dutch one and then I realised it's only a week till the English one comes out so I might as well wait. The, I don't know if the Dutch edition is a different size but this book is significantly smaller than Hannah's other books. I think she's got a different publisher, I'm not sure. Still hardback though which is great but if I put them side by side you can't really see much different but this is slightly shorter and it's not quite as wide so as you can see there I've put it on top. I've picked the one that's the same colour as the flipping background and so it's just slightly shorter, not a lot, but as you can see that I've got them lined up and there's a big bit of a uh, three quarters of an inch and if you look side on how slim it is compared to the other ones. Now that's not saying the artwork's not brilliant because it's absolutely fantastic. So that's the front, beautifully bossed uh, silver cover and there is the back. So we're going to do a very, very uh, quick, well I say quick, but uh, you never know with Hannah Carls and I might get a bit uh, rhapsodic about it because I do love her books. I'm still missing two or possibly, is it three? Two definitely, I need to check. So here's the uh, cover page with the, a little bit there. That'd be a nice simple one to, to colour. And then you've got the books belongs to and the copyright information. And, and then we go on. So the first page is a double page spread. Oh, we do love our double page spreads, don't we? <clears throat> They're all right, actually. I think most of them are double pages, actually. So these are just beautiful. And I think it pretty much tells the story of going to the, the, the masquerade and what happens when you, you get there. So there we are arriving at the door. And there's all the lanterns and candles. So you could really color this in, in picture order if you wanted to. And there's a couple of uh, ladies with their masks on and that's what I love about her books. I love the ladies and I love colouring them out and things like that, the ladies. That. And then they've got a crown there, that's stunning. And the thing with these books is other markers because of course it would go through. You can use gel pens in there, you can use glitter pens in here, watercolours, um, oh what are they called, ink tenses, as well as your pencils. And you could probably use your water brushes as well, so something like Limache or the toy markers would probably work too. Look at this, they're playing the band. I just think this, oh look at that. I love that. And these stunning. Very detailed, as always, but beautifully done. And then She's holding a mask and then there's a close-up of her mask, which I really like that. And you've got the candy tickets and she's selling candies. Oh, I just think this is so beautiful. I'm always impressed with Hannah Carlson's books. I think they're just beautifully produced. I like this one, the little rabbits. Animals are not my favourite thing to colour, but uh, she draws them so well. well. This is the sort of pages I like. I love colouring these. That's good. I like those. One's the sun and one's the moon. I like that very much. Oh, that's a nice one as well. Showing the flowers in her hair. Oh, ice cream mm -mm. and drinks. So it's a little bit different from what she normally does, but it's also very similar. But if that makes sense, just because that's I really like this one. So I like the Queen of Hearts there. Two different versions. And I just think that these are going to be so nice to colour medals. This is going to be a beautiful book to colour in and I can't wait to start it even though I have got I think it's jewellery box that I haven't coloured in yet. Yeah. 
and I, I said I'm missing two of them, Spirit Animals and Daydreams, and I'm going to have to get one of them next month. So I would like to complete my Carlson collection, then my trolley collection, and then I'll start working on the Clara Markovas. I've got, only got one of those, but they're so expensive to, to ship over. But they're worth every penny, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It just means that that month I won't be able to buy anything else. Beautiful. Although I might get money for Christmas from my brother because he's unlikely to be coming home. Though he does prefer to send presents. Stunning. Look at this, this is great. Clockwork girl. The cat with the donuts. <laughs> Sprinkle donuts. Oh, these are lovely. You can imagine this masquerade, how much fun it would have been. Little people dressed. They're like little munchkins, aren't they, from Wizard of Oz? Ooh, she's a vampire. She's got, well, she, I think she's supposed to be a cat. My immediate thoughts of vampire. It goes to where my head is. More drinkies. Oh, somebody spilt one. But again, that's what happens at parties. I love the frog. I love her umbrella. I love the frog. I'm going to have to colour that frog and he's just too gorgeous. Oh, sun and moon again. Everything about suns and moons. I love sun and moons. These are fantastic. Oh, she's got a ship on her head. Peacock. Oh, look at that. She's a candelabra with the, the mask underneath it. And, oh, this is going to be so much fun to colour. And the end. That is a lovely book. I, like I said, it is smaller than the others, but I don't care. I, I I love it. So that is a flip through of the Tales from the Midnight Masquerade. I will leave links down below for Amazon US and Amazon UK if I can find them. Um, for the whatever edition I can find of the book, if you wish to purchase it. As I've said before, I am not an Amazon affiliate, so I do not get any kickback if you order through the links I put below my videos. They are simply there to help you, to make it easier for you. Whether you buy it now or pop it in your wish list, it's just for you, your convenience, really. It's not for, to help me out. It's, it doesn't help me at all but I do it because I, I you know I appreciate it when people put links in even if then you know if they're affiliates or not and I have used them in the past it doesn't bother me if somebody gets money for it or not but I just think it's a, a nice thing to put them in in the end and I'm gonna stop rambling now um yeah so that is Tales of the Midnight a Masquerade by Hannah Carlson I really love it I love the dark blue cover I love the embossed silver moons I just think it's beautiful it's gonna have a a lovely place on my current bookshelves which I'm rapidly running out of space on and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video take care guys bye now <laughs>